Carrie Frances Fisher was an American actress, screenwriter, author, producer, and speaker. She was more known as Princess Leia in the Star Wars films. Her other film roles included Shampoo, The Blues Brothers, Hannah and Her Sisters, The Burbs, and When Harry Met Sally. Fisher was also known for her semi-autobiographical novels, including Postcards from the Edge and the screenplay for the film of the same name, as well as her autobiographical one-woman play and its non-fiction book, Wishful Drinking, which was based on the show. Fisher was born in Beverly Hills, California, the daughter of singer Eddie Fisher and actress Debbie Reynolds. Her grandparents were Russian Jewish immigrants. Her mother was raised a Nazarene and is of English and Scots-Irish ancestry. When Fisher was two, her parents divorced. She spent her earliest years reading classic literature and writing poetry. She attended Beverly Hills High School until, at the age of 15, she appeared as a debutante and singer in the hit Broadway revival Irene, 1973, which starred her mother. This activity interfered with her education, and she never graduated from high school. In 1973, Fisher enrolled at London Central School of Speech and Drama, which she attended for 18 months, and in 1978, Fisher was accepted into Sarah Lawrence College, where she planned to study the arts. However, she left before graduating due to conflicts filming Star Wars. Fisher made her film debut in the Columbia Pictures comedy Shampoo, 1975, starring Warren Beatty. Julie Christie and Goldie Hawn, with Lee Grant and Jack Warden as her character's parents. In 1977, Fisher starred as Princess Leia in George Lucas's science fiction film Star Wars opposite Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford. At the time, she believed the script for Star Wars was fantastic, but did not expect many people to agree with her, and though her fellow actors were not close at the time, they bonded after the commercial success of the film. During filming, she had an affair with Ford, who was then married to Mary Marquardt, which she stated was so intense, it was Han and Leah during the week, and Carrie and Harrison during the weekend. In her 2016 autobiography, The Princess Diarist, Fisher alleged that she and Harrison Ford had a three-month affair during the filming of Star Wars in 1976. Fisher publicly discussed her addictions to cocaine and prescription medication, including an appearance on ABC's 2020s and The Secret Life of the Manic Depressive with Stephen Fry for the BBC. She said that her drug use was a form of self-medication, using pain medication such as Percodin to dial down the manic aspect of her bipolar disorder. She discussed her 2008 memoir Wishful Drinking and various topics in it with Matt Lauer on NBC's Today that same year, and also revealed that she would have turned down the role of Princess Leah had she realized it would give her the celebrity status that made her parents' lives difficult. On December 23, 2016, Fisher went into cardiac arrest while on a flight from London to Los Angeles, a fellow actor seated near Fisher reported that she had stopped breathing. A passenger on board the flight performed CPR on Fisher until paramedics arrived. After being taken to Ronald Reagan Medical Center by ambulance, she was placed on a ventilator. Fisher was reported to have been stabilized while in the hospital, but Todd Fisher later said he could not classify his sister's condition and that she was still in the intensive care unit. Fisher died at age 60 on December 27, 2016, at 8.55 a.m. local time in Los Angeles. Billy Lord, Fisher's daughter, confirmed her mother's death in a statement, read to the press. Rest in peace Carrie Frances Fisher.